To politics now and a big back and forth from former President Trump, who's come under intense conservative criticism this week for his comments to NBC News that an abortion rights ban in Florida went too far. NBC's Vaughn Hilliard is in Washington with more. Vaughn, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Former President Trump saying Friday night that he will vote no on that Florida ballot measure is a defining declaration by that Republican nominee. That Florida referendum, if approved, would allow abortions in the state up to 24 weeks. By voting no, though, Trump is effectively standing behind the current Florida law, which bans abortions after just six weeks. Mr. Trump making it clear that he believes the six-week limit is too restrictive. But Democrats have been quick to note that he wouldn't have had to make this decision if it weren't for his own actions in helping overturn Roe v. Wade. He has consistently said he's proud to have helped end federal abortion protections and that it's now rightfully in the hands of every state to decide. Now, it's worth noting that Trump has frustrated many conservatives recently for not committing to a federal abortion ban. Attendees at Mr. Trump's event last night that I was at were relieved with his decision on at least the Florida measure. But there are still many questions about his new policy proposal this week to provide free IVF care to all Americans, either covered by the government or private health insurers, a bill that could be more than $7 billion annually. To note, while IVF it is widely embraced, there is some opposition in anti-abortion circles to such treatment because there are often embryos that are discarded in the process. Peter. All right, Vaughn, I want to ask you a little bit about this, because abortion rights obviously is a key motivator for Democrats this election year. How is Vice President Harris and her campaign team responding? Right. Vice President Harris, she's back here in Washington today after campaign stops in Georgia and, of course, that first joint interview with her running mate, Tim Walz. But her campaign, though, was quick last night to respond to Trump's abortion measure announcement, saying the choice between Harris and Trump is clear. She would be the one who would sign a federal law from the White House restoring reproductive rights nationally. Now, Harris is going back on the road on Labor Day, making Monday stops in Detroit and then in Pittsburgh, notably alongside President Biden. This will be the first time, Peter, that the pair, Biden and Harris, will take the stage together since Harris became the party's nominee in Chicago. And, of Guys. course, just a week and a half away before that first presidential debate, perhaps the only one between Trump and Harris. Von Hilliard in Washington. Von, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.